across. What are we learning today? Oh, hello, Square. Well, let's see. We already learned the sun. We already learned about the planet Earth. How about we learn about the moon this time? Would you like to learn about the moon? That sounds great. Let's do it! This is the planet Earth. This is where we live. The moon is orbiting the Earth. You will see it soon. There it is. We can see the moon now. Let's zoom in. Hello, I am the moon. M-O-O-N Moon You can see me in the sky during night time. Help light up the earth a little bit during the night time. So you can see when you go out once the sun goes down. If there's no moon, it would totally be dark just like this. Uh-oh, it's kind of scary, right? We can't see anything. I see. That's why it's totally dark at night. Why do you have a light source of your own? Actually, no, the sunlight hits my surface. I bounce back to Earth to light some area a bit. Like a mirror. That's why that area is not completely dark at night. And you see me like a giant light bulb in the sky. Some area can get more light and some area get less light depending on the moon phase. Wow, I didn't know that. You look so beautiful up in the sky. So you always look bright and full regardless of the moon phase. No, I don't always look full and bright all the time. My changes from the Earth depends on the moon phase. When I look full and bright, it's called the full moon phase. That's when you can see most of me. One in Gibeus phase. You can still see most of me during this phase. Third quarter. This is the third quarter phase. This phase you can only see half of me. And in this one in crescent phase, I look like a crescent from the Earth. This is the mo new moon phase. You can barely see me anymore. This is when I'm very dark at night. Next is waxing crescent. You can see part of me again. First quarter. First quarter phase, you can see half of me again. And last is the waxing gibbous phase. You can see most of me once again. That is interesting how you look differently from the Earth from time to time. If we can see you, does that mean the moon is not too far away from the Earth? Correct. The distance from Earth to the moon is two. 138,855 miles or 384,400 kilometers. If we could drive up to the moon at 70 miles per hour, we could reach the moon in 135 days. I see. That's not too far. Has any humans gone to the moon yet? In a matter of fact, yes. Years ago, humans launched a spaceship carrying humans to the space.
that spaceship went to outer space and landed on the moon. And the human landed and walked on the moon. The first man on the moon was Neil Armstrong. He was an astronaut, which means he was a human to go in space. Wow, that's amazing accomplishment. But why is he walking so wobbly, like he's on a trampoline? It's because of the low gravity in the moon. You see, Earth's gravity is 9.807 meter per square, where the moon is only 1.62 meter per second square. Which means everything is lighter on the moon. If you weigh 200 pounds on Earth, you would weigh only 33.07 pounds on the moon, which means you could jump higher. The moon gravity also affects the water level on Earth. If you go to the beach and see the water only this high, it won't stay that way. And when the moon is near or far, the water level will go higher. It's called high tides. Yahoo! I love the water! That's when fishermen go to the sea to catch fish. Mmm, fish! Yum, yum, yum! Wow! I learned so much about the moon! Thank you! You are very welcome! It's time for us to continue our learning adventure. See you next time! Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to Noodle Kids channel.